Hello, everybody. I'm so happy to be here to read aloud to you my new picture book, Home is in Between. I wrote the words, and Lavanya Naidu drew the beautiful pictures. She also included in almost every page a cute little blue elephant. So while I'm reading the story, maybe you can keep an eye open for the little blue elephant and see if you can count how many times that elephant shows up in the pages. All right, well, let's get reading. Home is in between. Goodbye, home, Shanti shouted. She waved to Didu to warm monsoon rains and the green palm trees of her village. The plane landed far away in a town with cold rain and orange and yellow leaves. Shanti clutched her parents' hands. Hello, home, she whispered. Their apartment felt like the village. Inside was Ma cooking luchi, funny stories in Bangla, no shoes, Baba's big laugh. But outside town was strange. New money to learn, new manners too, like napkins on laps, no elbows on tables, English words Shanti didn't know. So back and forth she skipped, remembering the village, learning the town, again and again, in between. Ma showed her how to dance Kathak. Tanya brought her to ballet class. Baba taught Shanti Bangla letters, ka, ka, ga. Shanti read him the little engine that could in English. Halloween brought trick-or-treaters. Shanti gave out candy. Next year, join us, Tanya said. Maybe, Shanti answered. Christmas came to town next. At Tanya's house, Santa filled a stocking for Shanti. Back and forth she ran, learning the town, remembering the village, again and again, in between. Shanti danced through Bollywood films with her parents. She laughed through Hollywood movies with Tanya and Malcolm. For Holly, they called the village. Uncles, aunts, cousins splashed in paint, feasting on Didu's biryani. They felt far away. So Ma played the harmonium and sang village songs. But later, on the piano, Shanti had to practice heart and soul. Back and forth she trudged. If only her friends could learn the village. If only her parents could learn the town. Again and again, in between. Spring brought a surprise snow. Shanti and Tanya joined Malcolm's snowball team. You can throw, a kid said. Do you play t-ball? What's that, Shanti asked. Baseball, silly. Where are you from, Mars? Shanti didn't answer. Suddenly, she felt tired. Where was she from? Village? Town? I need a rest, she thought. So Shanti lay down right there in between. After a while, she looked up at a blue sky with breezy clouds and birds winging by, watching over her village, watching over her town, watching over Shanti. She stretched her arms wide. She was good at making anywhere feel like home, especially here 
in the space between cultures. Now, home is in between. Shanti sings Didu's Bangla songs. She hums heart and soul in English. She invites Ma and Baba, Tanya and Malcolm, the whole town if they want. They remember their villages and dance with Shanti, a Bollywood ballet, perfect for in between. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed Shanti's story. It's a lot like mine. I was born in India and came to America when I was seven years old. And Shanti's name means peace. So I hope that if you are going back and forth between cultures, that you too can be a peacemaker. Thank you so much for having me.